what's up guys so we're about to hop on the bus to go to Tulum and we're here at the Adeo and now prices here are pretty much just like uh, depending on what time you go it's gonna be like 44 pesos or like 94 and right now it's kind of like peak period so it's gonna be about 94 now you don't necessarily have to take the Adeo you can also take a, uh, a Colectivo uh, now the Colectivos are way cheaper a little bit more crowded and um, it probably takes a little bit longer but uh, we want to get there with a little bit of comfort and uh, in a timely fashion. So we decided to take the ADO. Let's go. So guys, we're here in Tulum and we are getting ready to rent some bikes so that we can go around and well, you know, explore Tulum on a budget. So come along with us. We just rented some bikes here. It was pretty much what, like, like $10 for a day and a half, more or less. Yeah. And now these are the bikes that they give us. <laughs> The Mexican bike, they don't have the... Yeah, the handle brakes. The, the handle brakes. Just, it's the back pedal. All of the bike of Mexico have yeah. the system. So they advised us to keep our keys inside our bag. Anyway, guys, we're going to go around. We're going to check it out. We'll keep you guys posted. Hola. Hola. Oh, watch out, watch out. So we've arrived at the uh, finally arrived at the hostel. So we're gonna show you guys around. But first we're gonna park our bikes, alright? Hola. So apparently there is a cenote inside this hostel. So let's go check it out. A cenote. They don't even need a pool, they have a cenote, a natural water spring inside their own hostel. It's beautiful. But first, we're going to a cenote. I'm not the greatest swimmer. That's part of the reason why I've not jumped in. But she's making this look good enough for me to want to risk my life to get into. So I might just go ahead and do it real quick and, and see if I can come out alive and tell you guys about this experience. So. This, this is probably where the video might end. We don't know. <laughs> but. Guys, so now, 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 now we're really going to the beach. Now we're seriously going to the beach, okay? Last time we lied, now no more lies. We're going to the beach now, okay? Ah, 
So the guy was trying to charge us 20 just to be inside and you no, just told him we wanted to go to the beach. if you want to go, we want to go on the beds and chill on the beds, yeah. we need to pay $20 each. So right now we're pretty much just doing Tulum on a budget. Like we went into that cenote that you saw us, it was like free. We just walked in, dove in, had a great swim, chilling. I'm sure we could have bought some drinks if we wanted to, but you know. And now we just like walked right through this, through Salina. And now we're just gonna walk up and down the coast of the beach and just enjoy. We were gonna go to, to uh, Jungle Gym and mess around, but it's 25, what was it? Probably like 25 to like 30 US dollars just to, just to spend the day there, just to work out. That's a membership, a month membership in some places. Anyway, let's keep going. Okay, we just like stumbled up on this place. I don't even know what the name of this place is, but it is like, it's just like, it's like a tree house or a bar house or a place where you get drinks that's like a tree. Walking on vines and like wood. That's it. So last night our equipment died, <laughs> but it turns out that the spot that we're staying in offers karaoke in the evening. I wish I was special. <laughs> That is also another good thing that you can do in Tulum on a budget. And uh, the same place that we're staying offers breakfast at a place called Ice Cream Bar. Now we're gonna go check out, um, where is this place we're gonna go check out? It's in Haho Hotel, and it's like a tower where you can see the whole jungle. You see the whole jungle? Yeah. We found the, the tower in the jungle. You can see the, uh, we, found, we can't see the sunset, but we can see kind of the sunrise. Wow, so that was a quick yoga session on the roof. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed that. Now we're gonna head off to the beach. Nice yoga session, quick workout, and then a dip in the ocean. I mean, what a better way to start a day, right? Do the one about it. This spot called ice cream bar we get a discounted uh, breakfast for staying at that hostel that we stayed in today so come on let's go check it out Thank you guys so Subscribe much. For more. It's a bell, bell, bell like, and comment down below. Thank you, absolutely. Have a good one. Cheers, guys. Have a good one. Safe travels. You are them, guys. Hit the bell subscription. <laughs> Notify yourselves. All that jazz. We'll keep it rolling, then. Let's go. I only have fruits, so I'm hungry. So we're gonna go. <laughs> so we're just gonna go grab another bite to eat. Place 
to check out in Tulum. And check out the spot. Really good food so far. We're gonna head finish off here. Then we're gonna head off to the beach and explore a little bit more. Peace. This is what happens when you hang out with a bunch of yogis. All right, enough of that. Let's go get some exploring done. So we're just walking through here and uh, we saw a cenote and it's about 100, 100 pesos to get in. But um, they were still letting us just go inside and look at it and all this is like it's like a camp cenote so you have like little like campsites and people are just going in and they stay here and then they can go and do paddle boarding and all this other stuff they just charge you a hundred pesos and you can go snorkeling and do kayaking they have crocodiles in there it's like huge uh we didn't do it but again on a budget a hundred pesos that is absolutely nothing it's pretty far, so if you have a bike, definitely the best way to come around here. I mean, you can also take like the bus and everything, but you know, with a bike, you're a little bit more mobile. You have the, you can do whatever you want, whenever you want. And it's so easy, you can park your bikes wherever, lock it up against the tree. So, off we go, a little further down the road. So we are at the Siankan Reserve and it only costs 37 pesos which is like pretty much like a dollar and 50 cents something of that nature and you can go in you can check out the reserve reservation the snorkeling all this other stuff but just to get in is just 35 or 37 pesos and just to get to the first stop is going to be about four kilometers of a, of a ride so and then another very affordable thing that you can do but you have to ride your bike all the way here and then once you're here you have to ride your bike all, all the way to the first entrance so uh we're just going to go ahead and do it anyways because we think that that's going to be an awesome experience so let's go guys we walked sorry we <laughs> We, if we walked, we'll still be walking. We rode our bikes what seems to be about 10 kilometers and um, what felt like it was never ending. So that we could get to this bridge where they um, have crocodiles and manatees and this lagoon, if you will. Was it worth it? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I'll say so. Yeah, it was worth it. That was probably about an hour ride. It was quite the experience. Um, I don't think anybody has ever ridden a bike all the way here a bicycle that is from where we did all the way over here just to see a crocodile some fish and a blue lagoon yeah a taxi might be safer but hey there's a first time for everything right 